Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you another episode of the Beginner's Guide to One Piece, and today we are going to be talking about Devil Fruit. Now to start off, what is a Devil Fruit? Well, a Devil Fruit is a mystical fruit that exists in the One Piece world, and there is only one of every Devil Fruit. Each Devil Fruit will give the one that eats it a certain ability. However, the eater of that Devil Fruit loses their ability to swim forever and become weak to sea water. But, you should know that there are three different types of devil fruit. The most common type of devil fruit is the paramecium type. And the main character, Monkey D. Luffy, is a paramecium type. A paramecium type can give the user pretty much any random power. The main character, Monkey D. Luffy, became a rubber man after he ate the gum gum fruit or the gumu gumu no mi. Now, this can vary. An archaeologist named Nico Robin ate the flower flower fruit and gained the ability to grow limbs anywhere she pleases and control them. So yes, the paramecium type just gives you a power. They're very straightforward and the most basic in my opinion. However, the other forms of devil fruit can get pretty complicated. The Logia type devil fruit gives you the ability to turn into either a natural element or a force of nature. A great example of this is Smoker. Smoker ate a devil fruit that allows him to become a man made of smoke, a smoke man. Therefore, he is untouchable to normal people. So, in other words, if you were to hit Smoker with a sword and try to cut him, the sword would just go right through Smoker's body, and all you would see is a path of smoke. Not much is known about Logia type devil fruits or devil fruits as a whole, so we're going to move on to the last form of devil fruit. Well, kind of. The Zoan type. The Zoan type devil fruit will give you the ability to turn into an animal. Now, there are three kinds of Zoan devil fruit. So, let's talk about the first kind, the basic one, the regular old Zoan. The regular everyday Zoan would give you the ability to turn into a dog, a cat, a rabbit, maybe an elephant, but just some any everyday ordinary animal. So yeah, the everyday Zoan is pretty lame, but there are two other types of Zoan. So let's talk about the more awesome one, the ancient Zoan. An ancient Zoan is just that, it's a give you the ability to transform into an ancient animal such as a T-Rex, or a woolly mammoth. So it's a pretty straightforward type of Zoan, but as you can imagine, it does get pretty complicated because there are plenty of ancient animals. And now for my favorite, the Zoan type. The mythical Zoan. The mythical Zoan is pretty straightforward as well, but it can get kind of confusing. The mythical Zoan gives you the ability to transform into a mythical animal. A mythical animal could be an animal such as a dragon, a phoenix, an angel, a devil, an animal that, something is an animal in some form of mythology. So, you, you know, you could become, you know, some, like, uh, if it's any magical animal, you could say. Now, guys, I have now explained all the sorts of the Zoan type devil fruit, and, and I've also explained all three forms of devil fruit. The Zoan, the Logia, and the Paramecium type. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And, I have ideas for the next video, but if you have a certain thing you would like me to clear up or talk about in the next video, please tell me in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. One Piece Nation, signing out.